Hi, this is Yoe from Crankwheel, and this is a brief demo on how you can start sharing your screen with Crankwheel and how you can get your customers connected to your screen. As always, to start using Crankwheel, you click the Crankwheel button in your browser. To start sharing, you can use any of these three buttons. Let's start by sharing our full screen. Click here and then you get to choose which monitor you want to share. I only have one, so there's only one to share. Then click share to start sharing that. At this point, you are sharing your screen, but nobody is connected and viewing your screen. So let's get a viewer connected. There are several options here. You can enter a viewer's mobile phone number and send them a text message with a link that they can click and then they get immediately connected to your screen. You can type in an email address here, click send, which will open up your email client with a pre-composed email to that uh, viewer with a link that they can click to get immediately connected. Or you can click here to copy the link and use any means available to you, such as an instant message or a live chat on your website to get that link to your viewer. Another approach, which we'll cover later, is to ask the viewer to type a simple link, uh, what we call the public link. You could say meeting.is slash Acme for the Acme Corporation, which is our dummy account. Uh, this is customized for your company. Uh, let's start by sending the, the viewer a text message. Just type that in that number, click send. Within a few seconds, your viewer will receive the text message. And you can just ask them to put you on speaker or a headset, and then ask them to click the link in the text message and have it open up in a window, uh, in a browser. And now, if you look up here in the right-hand corner, we will see as soon as the viewer is connected. There we go, the viewer is connected, and we're seeing here what they're looking at exactly. So if the viewer scrolls down a little bit or zooms in a little bit, we can always tell exactly what they're seeing. If there's a little bit of a delay, if I scroll the page, there's a little delay, that's exactly the same delay that my viewer sees. So using this little preview pane here, whichever way I use to connect my viewer, I will always see exactly what they see here. Now, I can switch between what I'm sharing at any point. Remember that you're able to start sharing using any of these buttons, browser tab, program window, or full screen. And at any time during the screen share, you can switch between what you're sharing. So if I want to share just a browser tab, let's say um, I'm showing something that is web-based, so I don't want to show all of the other things on my screen, I can click browser tab, and then it asks me to confirm the browser tab. And this little graphic here is telling me I should go to my browser, go to the tab I want to share, let's say it's this one, and then click this button to confirm which tab. And as you can see, the updated view on the viewer end, uh, I'm now sharing just that browser tab. The viewer sees my mouse cursor. You can see that green highlight of where my mouse cursor is in the little window. All right, now let's show the last type of sharing, a program window. I click here and I see all the different program windows on my computer. I'm gonna share this one. It'll jump to the foreground here. This is the program window I'm sharing and the viewer is looking at what I'm sharing here. It says, hello world. All right, uh, let's quickly switch back to sharing a browser tab. Now I'll, I'll choose this browser tab and click the button here to confirm. And as you can see, the viewer now is seeing that browser tab. Let's see how we can uh, use some of the other approaches to add more viewers. So let's say I want to add a viewer by email address. I type in their email here. I click send. This opens up my email client, which is Gmail, but you could be using Outlook or any other email client. And as you'll see, there's a pre-composed email here to that email address with a title and a subject and a link that they can use, they can click to directly connect to your screen share. I'm not gonna send that for now. The other approach that we can ask viewers to use is to type in this simple URL, which for your company would be meeting.is slash 
and then the name of your company or some short uh, mnemonic for your company. Uh, we also offer custom URLs on enterprise plans. And now let's just pretend that we are the viewer and let's let's try doing that. Meeting.is slash Acme and click enter. And now as soon as the viewer has done that, you tell them, okay, thanks for typing that in. Now you should see a picture of me. My name is Yoe, or you, rem you remind them of your name. Please click my picture. And it's important to understand here that we don't show pictures of every single person using Crankwheel at your organization. We only show pictures of the one or two or three people who might be waiting for a viewer to connect at that very moment. So let's pretend we're the viewer and we click here. The viewer is going to see a random number here and they'll be told to tell their presenter this number. And down here in this box, you see the same number and you're able to accept the viewer in. So if you want to be extra sure that you're accepting the right person into the screen share, you, you make them uh, tell you the number that's on their screen. And then you click accept and they're immediately joined into your screen share. So those are the different ways of joining viewers into your screen share. Thank you.